Hi everyone. So now we'll talk about pressable component in React Native. First question you can ask that what is the use of pressable component? What is that? See, this is a similar kind of component like button, touchable opacity, touchable highlight, and all. But the difference is in uh, pressable component we have lots of uh, events like uh, in button and all we have only one event which is on press but there we have four events which is uh, on press on press in on press out and on long press so single button has lots of events so are are they really useful or not the answer is yes they are really useful so whenever you are uh, developing any gaming application or you are creating a application with a lots of animation that time these events are really helpful so let me just give you an example so let's say you are creating a gaming application and here whenever you are just pressing a button you want to just uh, uh, put the gun up right and after that when you just uh, keep the press uh, keep your button pressing that time the bullet should be fired rapidly and after that whenever you will just uh, press out from that button the gun should be down so uh, the all event should be done on the single button on the sing or single component then how we can do that definitely if we have the uh, multiple events same as pressable then we can easily do that right so now let's see how we can uh, use all of these events so first point i already told you and uh, now we will add some style to that button so so that at least this pressable should look like a button because if you will just uh, directly use this uh, pressable this will be normal uh, text not look like a button so we have to add some style after that we will check all events and at last we will cover some important interview question one more thing guys this pressable component is not uh, not an uh, uh, you can say that uh, not an old feature this is a new feature feature so let's say if you are using a uh, react native 0 0.67 uh, or 68 in your project that time maybe this uh, pressable will not work but if you are using 0 0.707 0 0.71 or uh, above version of that that time it will definitely work out right so now let's come to the code this is our app.js file and we will start working with the app component and uh, this is our uh, screen so let me just import pr uh, pressable first of all pressable and now let me just use pressable as a normal tag but by default it will not give you any just output so the second thing that we need to do you have to just put some text or uh, view inside it right so i am adding a text there and inside it i am putting there pressable and uh, now you can see that we have a just a small text over there so should just add some more style there i am just adding uh, some properties for style and uh, for that let me just add style styles dot pressable btn and it sh uh, should start with a smaller uh, text right so firstly i am just adding a background color it could be let's say blue after that color we can add and it could be let's say white and uh, let me just save it let's put some padding over there padding could be let's say 10 margin again could be 10 after that uh, let me just refresh i don't know why this is just uh, yeah that that is perfectly fine so nothing to worry about it font size let me add there 24 pixel and now we can just uh, text align center all right and uh, last thing we can add some shadow also so let me add their shadow color could be triple zero then we can add mm, elevation and uh, it could be let's say five or four and last one we can add one more property which is border radius let's say this is five for a moment now this is actually 
Oh, the radius is not working. Why? Um, need to check this. It should work. Let me just refresh it once. If there is some. Yeah, so now you can see that if let me just add uh, 10 border radius also, then this is still working fine. Even 5 is also working, but this is like little bit. So this is not visible, right? So let me just get back with the 10. So now we can start with events. So let's check the normal event first. So I'm putting there on press and uh, over there I am just making console dot won. console dot one and I am putting there let's say normal press and if I have uh, one more thing guys so let me just put in the uh, bottom of the screen right so I already added their main style to the main box so main uh, you can see that flex one and let's not add in the bottom let's add in the center so just put their justify content center and if you want to put in the end bottom then you can put their flex end all right so if i'm just uh, pressing this button here you can see that i we get the result as a normal press right so with a similar we can uh, put there one more event which is on long event long press and here you can see that long press console so now if i'm just uh, holding not leaving there If I press it within a moment and just uh, then this is press for a long that will be the now let's talk about uh, two more which is on press in so let's say on press in I want to make a console on with and with that we can also one more one more event which is on press off let's say that press out so if i just uh, press in over there and holding there however i will just leave it or you can say that i will just uh, uh, leave that press then we will get the 